Hi, and welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham, and today I'm joined by Colin Skidmore, who's CEO of Stellar Metals. Um, okay, Colin, um, Stellar Metals, uh, you're um, hoping to uh, be listed on the ASX uh, this Friday, this coming Friday. Um, the IPO is completed. Um, let's just touch on the IPO while we can. Um, uh, how did it go? How was it received? received exceptionally well. Um, it's always uncertain times at the moment, but uh, we've come in oversubscribed. We've hit our maximum of $7 million that we've managed to raise. So it's been a, an exceptionally positive experience. I mean, in part, it was just a clean thing. There weren't complex joint ventures, international projects. It was a very simple one. Yeah, well, and yeah. simple is always a, a good term to use, but um, the fight, well, your portfolio, you've got a suite of projects um, in South Australia. Um, that uh, are all at uh, um, certain stages. Um, let's just run through the, the projects. Um, have you got any that are at a more advanced stage than the others? Uh, then, yeah, let's uh, give us a bit of a, an update of what you've got. Sure, so all of our projects are South Australian. They're all 100% owned and they're all focusing on battery metals, namely copper and zinc, because we see that this is what's required for the future. It's great to be moving away from the greed metals of gold. Um, so our most advanced project is probably Evelyn Dam. Evelyn Dam is one of the largest gravity anomalies in the Gawla Kratom, which has not been adequately tested or tested at all. It was an ex-BHP project. Um, the chairman of our board, uh, Stephen Biggins, who's the, uh, the CEO of Cell, um, Core Lithium, he picked that up a number of years ago. He did a joint venture with Rio Tinto. They came and they drilled one hole, but the hole they drilled uh, based on some rather low quality modeling was about two kilometers from where the actual anomaly is. So we're planning in May to go back out and put in a nice deep hole to properly test this really exciting uh, anomaly. Now, high risk, iron oxide, copper, gold. So to keep some balance, uh, we have uh, another XBHP project uh, in the Flinders Ranges, the Linda Zinc project. So here we have outcropping zinc at surface. These large pods of min mineralization have been mapped historically back in the 1980s by BHP. They did some drilling. All of the holes which they did were anomalous, um, but the holes were you know, two, 300 meters away from where these pods actually are. Um, and they just couldn't get up the hill at the time with a two wheel drive rig uh, back in the early days. Um, we have another large project up on the, uh, about 40 kilometers west of Olympic Dam. Um, it's a big, large area. Uh, there's some existing historic, large geophysical anomalies that were worked up by Western Metals uh, back in the 1980s. Um, our plan there is to hit it with some airborne geophysics Due to the scale of what's going on there, we would hope to generate up some targets and then probably seek a senior partner to come and assist with that one. Our other two projects are still in application at the moment. Uh, one is the Gunson project, which is right next door to where Coda is playing at the moment um, with their Elaine project. It's also right next door to the old cattle, cattle grid and Mount Gunson sedimentary copper mines. So we're looking here for a sedimentary copper, uh, but there is also potential underneath for Arnold's South Cup of Gold. And then the last one on the list, again, back in the Flinders Ranges, is focusing on sedimentary copper. And it's right next door to Taruga's Mount Craig project. Um, the geology continues across. There's no drill holes on this tenement at all, yet we had similar geology. And right on the tenement border is the old Baratta copper mine, which was mined back in the 1800s. And it was about seven kilometres strike of copper mineralisation. This diaperic breaches. And again, haven't been there as yet to have a look, but uh, it's a potentially uh, quite an exciting project. That's about it. Well, being in South Australia at the moment, there's uh, quite a bit of activity going on there. I did notice that you, you did mention CODA minerals uh, at one stage there. So um, being around there, there that's uh, probably a nice uh, neighbourhood to be around as well. But with all the activity going on in South Australia at the moment, um, you obviously think that's a good place to be. I do. Um, I've been based in South Australia for 30, 30 years or so. I went through Adelaide Uni. Um, it's relatively straightforward to get things done. So it's, it's a good place to be. And 67, 68% of Australia's copper comes from South Australia. So it's not a, it's the place to be. Um, I have managed to secure a drill rig, which is coming across from Coda. Uh, so the same company to do this deep diamond hole at Evelyn Dam. Uh, so that's coming across in May. I have um, a guy called Mark Allen from CSA Global, who's one of the world's experts on carbonate uh, zinc mineralization. We used to, actually used to work together at uh, Pasminka. 
so he's coming over to help me uh, as soon as we list um, in April uh, to do some mapping and to evaluate these ponds of mineralization. Because at the moment, we haven't been able to announce to the market the results of the BHP. It's buried away in those old open files in the 1980s, but to get your compliance has not been that easy. So my hope is that Mark and myself will be able to go there, take some samples, map this out properly, use more modern techniques, uh, so we can make some announcements about that historic work, which was pretty exciting um, when you read through those old reports. Okay, so that, that's Evelyn Dam. Is that uh, where the bulk of the um, activity is going to be, or are you going to drill that hole at well, Evelyn Dam and then move on to the other projects or sort of focus around there for the... For yeah, the look, the, the, initial, the initial hit will be some mapping at uh, Linda, uh, back in the Flinders Ranges on the Zinc Project. Then in, this is in April. In May, we're going to go and drill that hole at Evelyn Dam. It'll take probably six weeks to drill the hole. We're looking at 1,800 metres. It's going to be a, quite a significant hole. Um, we will then be flying some airborne geophysics gravity um, over the Torrens project. Uh, and I'm hoping that that will start off somewhere July, August. Uh, it's a matter of getting a contractor for that one because these big equipment, they like to hang around in Queensland and WA. However, we're trying to set up a consortium in South Australia at the moment of a number of parties interested in collecting that data. So uh, we can actually come up with a patchwork of um, you know, surveys that will attract a, a big company to come in to supply that. Uh, meanwhile, we'll start processing up the open file data for Barata and Gunsum uh, with an anticipation that those two projects will be granted in the next few months. Uh, there's been some talk around about the time of the IPO, which of course is really not a good time to <laughs> suddenly have to change the prospectus. So uh, I'm, I'm confident that they will come through um, very shortly after this IPO thing process is finished. All right, Colin, well, it sounds like there's going to be quite a bit of uh, activity and a bit of news uh, floating through from Stellar Metals, and uh, we'll be keeping an eye out that. Make sure you uh, keep in contact with us here at the Roadhouse so we can deliver that news to our readers and viewers. Uh, but until then, um, yeah, good luck with everything. Good luck with the, um, the listing on Friday, and we hope to catch up again soon. Wally, thank you very much. Thank you.